morning everyone Monroe still here from fashion still NYC and welcome back to my channel to not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos this video is actually a travel video I am heading home to North Carolina for the holidays and after that I'm going to Miami for New Year's do not worry y'all I had my COVID test two days ago. I got my results today. Everything's negative. I'm also taking another test once I get home and another test before I leave and another test immediately when I get to Miami. We are going to get into packing for my trip. And then I think the next time I'm gonna check in is actually when I'm in Miami. I don't think I'm gonna vlog while I'm at home. It won't seem like that much time has passed for you guys, but it would have been a good amount of time that's passed for me. And since I believe this is one of the first videos of the new year, I wanna wish you guys a happy new year. All right guys, so first up is, if this is the first time you've ever stumbled across one of my videos, all of my hair details are in a previous Get Holiday Ready With Me video. That's the T on that. My necklaces are the same two I always wear. This is the double necklace here from Electric Picks, and this necklace here is from Majuri. I have a link down below if you use it. I think you get an automatic discount if it's your first purchase. This is the stacker ring from Majuri. This is my new Cartier ring that you would have seen in a previous vlog when I went shopping on Fifth Avenue in New York City to buy this for myself for Christmas. This white ring is Ana Luisa, and then I have this diamond ring that I, for the life of me, can't remember where I got it from. And then we have the Gold Rame Bangle, also from Majuri. So that's my jewelry. I will link everything down below. I am wearing a two-piece Skims set in a size medium. I think this is like the granite gray color. Super comfortable for sleeping, especially if it's like cold, it keeps you nice and warm comes with a matching bralette top. Again, I'm wearing the medium. And then this cardigan is actually from Walmart. It comes in a set that's similar to this top and bottom, but I just needed a little cover up. And of course, I'm wearing my favorite fuzzy slippers from Amazon and I have linked them down below. Everything that's available will be down below in the description box and that is my loungewear outfit of the day. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna relax a bit before I finish packing. I'm gonna show you, even though it looks like a bomb exploded in my office, but yeah. This is the state of my cloth right now. There is literally clothes everywhere, electronics everywhere, boxes everywhere. <laughs> I have like a system, like these are all the shoes I'm gonna pack. These are all of the swimsuits and things I'm gonna pack. <laughs> this is all of the jewelry I'm going to pack. Just so you know, I'm gonna be gone for about two weeks, so I need a lot of things. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna pack my favorite perfumes and such. These are the sunglasses I've kind of narrowed it down to, the bags. These are some outfits I'm planning to shoot. This is probably gonna be my New Year's Eve dress. And these are just miscellaneous things I'm also taking, so it's a mess. But before I go, I actually do wanna show you guys something new that I got in. You may have seen me this morning brushing my teeth with my electronic brush toothbrush and it's in a matte black it is amazing like you charge it for maybe like an hour and you don't have to charge it again for like two months it's divine well they sent me a new brush which i'm really excited about this one is matte white a lot of you always ask about my electric toothbrush so let me show you so again the brand is called brush and like how stunning is this toothbrush so the heads are interchangeable they send two heads for you and it has what six settings the settings are daily white gentle for your gums max and for your tongue this is how you turn it on and it's just stunning and so the way that you charge it is through the bottom here it comes with a little stand that you could plug and then you just sit it on the base and it charges automatically but they just came out with a ton of different colors so if you guys are interested i will link it down below in the description box i'll show you if you lift this up 
has the directions. It comes with a little travel case. This is the charging port. Literally, you just take the toothbrush and sit it right on top like that and it charges. And then that's the extra head. This is gonna be my vacation toothbrush and I'm gonna also pack this away for my trip. You guys know that I have worked with Stuart Weitzman. I did a whole like boot, styling boots video last year. They sent me over the most gorgeous gift for the holidays. It's a flower and I'm so sad that it's blooming now and I'm like about to leave. So I'm not gonna like get to see it in all its glory, but look at it. How beautiful. It just now started to open. I've had it for about three days. And I mean, it's just beautiful. So special thanks to Stuart Weitzman for sending this. I really enjoyed working with them last year. And hopefully I think we have another partnership coming up soon. So look out for it. How beautiful. Alright guys, so I just arrived in my hotel room and I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tour before I get myself together and show you myself because it's been a rough day. So <laughs> this is the door. As soon as you come in, you have a full length mirror here to your right. Then we have these doors here, which is a really nice closet, very spacious in here. I put my suitcase in there so far. Love these floors, by the way. Have a little thing here where you can hang up your jackets, your umbrellas, all that good stuff. And then right here, open and to the left is the bathroom. And it is absolutely stunning. There is a soaking tub. Definitely going to use this tonight. Have a little self-care night with some of my products from CVS. And this is a view of the bay here in Miami. It's such a beautiful view. You can see, really lovely. This hotel is in Brickell. It is Miami East Hotel. I actually came here the last time I was here and had drinks and dinner with my girl Rhea. So if you watch that vlog, you'll see. This is the sink. It's really modern and nice. Of course here, we have a shower. If the soaking tub is not your jam, 
It's really nice in here. Have these products if you need them. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, rainfall shower with beautiful blue tile. Very nice. And of course over here we have the toilet with its own little room there. I think this is the corner bay room, just in case you guys are interested in checking it out. So coming into the actual living area, we have this huge little desk here with all of these drawers. You can store stuff, which is great because I'm big on hiding things. This is my favorite travel vacation bag, the Reeve Gauche bag from St. Laurent. If it's still available, I think it is in a few places online. I think they have them at Nordstrom. I will link it down below. Got all my goodies in there, of course. A few snacks from CVS, but this is lovely. There's a little area here where you can do some work. Nice little chair there, a nice mirror. Love this lamp. We're gonna save the best for last, you guys. Here's another little chair here with a nice side table, a nice flat screen TV that you can move and tilt. We have a stunning view of the bay. It's a little cloudy, cloudy today. And then I'm pretty sure this is a king bed. Like how freaking cool is this? I mean, it looks so plush. I'm like ready to jump onto it, to be honest. And now, without further ado, we are gonna check out this view of the balcony. So I finally got myself together, took a quick little shower, got my face together. I am wearing the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation mixed with the new Soft Matte Foundation. And I usually mix Bahia with Maceo or Macchiao, one of those. The lip is also NARS Mysterious Red. Still wearing my favorite <laughs> little like vintage misunderstood tee from the brand from the archive it's a black owned business i'm gonna put on the outfit that i wore i think maybe in one of my previous videos when i did my top 10 outfits of 2020 with these stunning shorts from char workroom and i kind of want to go out and take a few photos out on the balcony hopefully it's not too windy earlier today it was very windy but I would love to get a photo to post today. I kind of went ahead and unpacked everything because I'm so type A. I put all of my shoes in here. I have my Louis Vuitton sandals here, my Marco DiVincenzo braided pumps, BCBG, my Giuseppe's, and then two pair of Bottegas. And then for accessories, I brought my ice blue Bottega bag, my Balma yellow bag, some different face masks, a ton of different sunglasses. These are from Enroda, which is a black owned business. You would have seen these in a previous video. Also, my new Burberry sunglasses are gonna get worn this trip. Of course, I brought my Andrea Iyama basket earrings, both pair. 
that you would have seen in my previous video. I think it was my, what I got from black owned businesses during black Friday sales. You could watch that haul next. And here, this little Celine box is all of my other jewelry. I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite little ankle bracelet out. I wear it anytime I'm in a warm weather location. Just gonna set everything up, take some cool little photos out there. Let me show you guys my new shoes. So sorry guys, I'm getting I, I'm getting tons of text messages right now. I'm on a group chat with like the pretty much the eight people that I will be around this entire trip. Mainly it's gonna be me, Gloria, you all know Gloria, Life with Glory B. We work out on Zoom like almost every day. We spent last New Year's Eve here in Miami together. She has family here, so she's already here. And we're just gonna meet up on New Year's Eve like we did last year. If you haven't watched that vlog yet, watch that because that's how she sprung her ankle. Rose is also gonna meet us tomorrow. My girl, Rhea Michelle, she already lives here in Miami. She has a good friend, Taylor, who's gonna be here. Those are like the main people. And we all got our COVID test today. And so we're all sharing our results. And then we're all quarantining or just staying put, not really being around anyone else until we hang out tomorrow for New Year's Eve. So that's how we're all staying safe. Miami has really good, great testing centers at their convention center. They have rapid testing. They have both kinds of tests, the antibody test and the rapid test. And you pretty much get the results the same day. So it's very convenient. So just in case any of us need a super quick test, just to make sure everything is good, we can get it really quick. We're really trying to be super safe during this trip. All of us are also going on a boat ride on January 1st. And so we're gonna get another test. No one is allowed on the boat without a negative test um, within 24 hours. And that's how we're keeping it safe, you guys. Let me show you my new shoes. I got these shoes while I was at home for Christmas. You might have seen me post an Insta story just showing the box, but I never showed anything else. So let me show you my new shoes. I wanted like some new slides. I wanted something neutral. I wanted something like really cool and fresh. And I've kind of been really into like flat forms or you know, thick soled shoes, even when it comes to like chunky boots and things like that. And so when I saw these, I scooped them up. So here we go. These are the Gucci kind of slide flat forms. I feel like they're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I love them. They are like this golden brown, and then it has the Gucci logo in kind of like a golden yellow stitching. It has like the same bottom as the Louis Vuitton slides. Super comfortable. Of course, they have that nice grip bottom. These will be great for being on a boat. And then they give me a little bit of height. And I've been wearing these around today, and people absolutely love them. They were going crazy for them. I wanted the ones in the normal Gucci pattern, but they didn't have them in my size. This is actually a 41. You guys know I wear a size 10. Any Euro shoe, I get a 41. These are slightly too big. I probably could have gotten a 40.5. So just keep that in mind. I'm still gonna try and get the other ones in the other color. Definitely gonna size down half a size though. So you all can definitely expect to see these bad boys the entire trip. I'll probably be wearing them. They're so comfy. I've been wearing them ever since I got them yesterday in the mail. They came super quick. If you order from the actual Gucci site, they came in two days. Like I ordered them on Monday and they came on Tuesday, which was wonderful because I flew out on Wednesday. So I'm gonna maybe wear these with this outfit. I know it's a lot of colors, but I think it's gonna work. So, while I was waiting for my room to be ready, I walked over to the Brickle Shopping Center, and y'all, they got everything in there. They have a sax in there, they have a Chanel in there. It's kind of an outdoor, indoor mall. It's really, really beautiful. So I went in and I did a little browsing in sax. I was hoping to find a really cute swimsuit, even though I had, I brought like 10 y'all. 
I just wanted something new. But I didn't happen to find anything. And so I went into Chanel because I needed something that I forgot at home. I'll show you what I got from Chanel. I also got a few things from Sephora. So I'll do a quick unboxing of that and then we'll go ahead and try and get these photos out of the way. I think I'm going to take myself to dinner tonight at my hotel's restaurant, have some drinks. I think just by myself. I don't know if anyone will want to join me, but maybe I'll ask them if they want to join. I mean, this mirror is everything. I just have to show it to you guys. Can you see? This is where I did my makeup, this vanity mirror, and like my makeup came out. It came out bomb, y'all. I feel cute. So let me show you what I got from Chanel. All right guys, so here's what I got from Chanel. They have a Chanel boutique in the open air mall here. It's actually kind of connected to my hotel, which is dangerous, but also why I chose it. Super cute bow. I just need to get in here, like, I don't have time for this. But you guessed it. <laughs> I bought myself some of the Chanel Le Cotton wipes, mainly because I just didn't want to pack a whole new box of cotton wipes. I knew that there was a Chanel here because I always come to this shopping center anytime I come to Miami. And I knew that they would have them. They're only 20 bucks a box. If you go in store, you don't get anything fancy, just a nice bag. But if you buy it, these from online, you get two free gifts. Actually, they did give me some gifts, but you get two free gifts online. And then it also comes in a really nice Chanel box, like a hard box that you can like store around your apartment and make it very chic, or you can put things in it. I like brought a few of them home, but I knew I was gonna use them. And so I just made it, you know, a little cliff note in my mind that I had to go to Chanel and buy a box of cotton wipes because I'm going to need them during this trip. I'm going to be here for a couple of days. So just in case you're new to my channel and you have never seen these Chanel cotton wipes, they're just really fancy face wipes that you can use to put on products, take off products. They are super thick and soft. 100 come in a box and they also have that Chanel CC embossed into the cotton. They definitely make a lovely gift and like these are the best cotton wipes I've ever used. Like, and I've tried them all. And yeah, they're a little bougie and it costs $20 for a box, but it's worth it. You get two free gifts and a really cool Chanel box as long as you buy them online on the website. So I will link these down below and you can check them out. Really glad that I could get these before I even check into my hotel room. I'll show you the two free gifts. Let me see what they gave me. I think they gave me a perfume. Yeah, they gave me the Gabrielle or Gabrielle Chanel Essence. Oh, it smells good. And then they gave me the Le Lift Cream that smooths and firms. So we'll check that out too. I feel like he gave me something else. Oh yeah, they did. And they're also super nice at this store over here. They also gave me some micellar or micellar Chanel water. Micellar water. And that is the three gifts they gave me from the store, which is wonderful. Just in case anyone is interested in this nail color, it is Zoya. I can never remember the name, but it's a brown. It's a very deep brown. I just had them done yesterday before I left North Carolina to come to Miami. Also wearing my Cartier ring. If you haven't watched that video where I got this for the holidays, shopping on Fifth Avenue, watch that video next. So I also got a few things from Zara, nothing major. I got two brown lipsticks from the Sephora label. These are matte lipsticks. I've been loving brown, y'all know. And then I got that new glass bomb cream from Fenty. And this one is in the color cookie jar, number four. So I put this on my hand and it looks so good, y'all. Like, I seriously can't wait to try it. I'll wear it tomorrow so you can kind of see what it looks like, but it's just a really beautiful kind of, I wanna say it's kind of like a cinnamon brown almost. It smells good too. 
and I'm not into glosses, but I wanna try something new, you know. Miami seems like a gloss kind of town. I'll show you these two as well. So this first one is the Sephora brand Matte Lip Blast in the color Spice. That's it there. It's a beautiful brown. Really love it. Like I said, I've been killing browns. I will link all of these down below for you guys if you wanna try them out. And then I got another brown that's pretty similar. This one is Sienna. And this is a little bit more like mauvey, I feel like. That's the Sienna. So going for a really nice, neutral, nudey browning for this trip, even though I have on a red right now. That's what I got from Sephora. And that is it for this haul. All right, guys, it's getting a little late. I feel like it's about 3.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these photos out of the way and I will check back in with you guys when I'm heading out to dinner. All right guys, can you see me? This is the look that you would have seen in a previous video. These shorts are a size large. Previously I had the medium and I could not zip them up. So this is the look, sorry it's kind of dark. Let's see, maybe you can see better here. Not sure if you can see better or worse. Okay. So kind of trying to start the year off with all black owned businesses. These are in Rhoda Sunglasses Black Owned Business from the Archive T-shirt, Black Owned Business, Char Workroom, Black Owned Business. Let's hope we can get a cute look, y'all. Let's hope. So the only thing is that it is like super windy on the balcony and I'm afraid my phone is gonna fly off the tripod <laughs> and my camera might fly off the balcony. Like, let's see. And also the light isn't this great this way. So maybe I can just use this in here. What do you guys think if I'm like on the bed? It might be a vibe. Let's let's do a few things and see. I'll show you guys a few of the finished photos. We're just gonna do it with my iPhone 11 Pro Max and my tripod and I'm just gonna do a self timer for 10 seconds. So yeah, I just ended up taking photos in here. I got some really cute ones that I like. These earrings are the Y Project earrings, wearing the Electric Picks double necklace, the Majuri twin necklace. Remember, all of my Majuri pieces that I own, you could just click the Majuri link down below and it'll take you to a page with all of my favorites that I own there. And I think if you use that link and you've never ordered from Majuri, you get an automatic discount. So definitely check that link out if you're interested in like my little stacker ring, my twin necklace, and my gold verme bangle. So let me show you, I got some really cute picks. I mean, this is, it's a vibe. Like, I don't think I'm gonna wear these shorts out today, but definitely vibe-tastic. Forgot there's a mirror here. So here they are, I really love this one. I feel like it really shows off the shorts. I try to take one outside and you see how the light's just not as good. But these inside turned out really, really well. So very, very happy about these. Gonna edit a few and post a carousel. All right guys, posted my picture. It went really well. Like, I popped out. I can't even front, I popped out. I'm probably gonna take these hot shorts off. But I would definitely link them down below. They are everything I would suggest sizing up from your normal size. I'm probably gonna just throw on a dress and go to the hotel rooftop. I think it's the rooftop. I think they have like Asian food. I think they have rock shrimp. I had that the last time I was here. I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna get some cocktails. I might hit up Rhea and see if she wants to join me, but I don't know. We have a lot to do tomorrow, so she might not want to. 
I'll check back in once I'm ready because it's like 5.30. Oh my God, you guys, I have a YouTube video that's supposed to go live today and it hasn't gone live. My Cartier, shopping for my Cartier ring. So actually what I'm gonna do is sit down and do that description box, get that video live by six, and then hopefully I can go get a drink because mama needs a drink around seven-ish. So I will check back in with you guys soon. You guys, I'm just so freaking happy to be in Miami. Like I always feel like I'm home when I'm in Miami. I feel the most myself in Miami. I feel happy. I just feel rejuvenated to like create. And it's just something about this place that I love. Like when I very first moved to New York, I felt the same way. Don't get me wrong, I still love New York, but I'm very excited about like house hunting here soon. Hopefully I feel like by March I'll be settled in here in Miami. For this trip, I'm just gonna relax. I was gonna try and like squeeze in looking at houses and things, but I think I just wanna relax during this trip. I'm gonna work most of January in New York, get everything together, find a mortgage broker, and then come here for pretty much the entire month of February, like when it's the coldest in New York, and house hunt and hopefully find something and be like moved in and settled by March. So I will take you guys on that journey with me. I'm very excited to just be here. I love it here. All right guys, I will check back in soon. So you guys, I just discovered a new feature. I was wondering like, where's the coffee maker? And then I pulled this little handle and look how freaking adorable is this oh i love it so you have a little coffee cup some glasses you have your sugar your coffees we have a little coffee maker here which is perfect because you guys know i love my coffee totally totally adorbs i can say that the light in here is very romantic for sure i've already made a mess in here y'all all right let's try and get this video up so I can go get myself some food. All right guys, so it is seven o'clock. I just got the Cartier shopping vlog up. I put on the lip. This is the Sephora spice that I have on and I actually really love it. Same jewelry, I just changed my earrings. These are the Majuri oversized gold thin hoop earrings and they're a very good price to be like gold as well. I changed into this and other stories blazer, oversized blazer. You guys know I love this and this bodysuit that I recently got from Nordstrom during their Black Friday sale. If it's still available, I will link it down below. I have the size medium and then I'm wearing my And Other Stories mom jeans and my Lido mules. So I hope that you can see because the mirror here is really dark. So I don't think you can see that well tonight's dinner look. So I'm not meeting anyone, I'm just going up to dinner alone, which is great. A little time with myself. So I don't know if you all noticed, but every time I come to Miami, especially for New Year's, I always come early and I stay like a couple of days alone, just because I feel like I'm a tourist, but I'm also someone who really needs like my own time alone just to really recharge and regroup. Because once everyone is here, I know that like I'm gonna be paying more attention to making sure everyone is happy, making sure everyone is having a good time, making sure everyone is comfortable and not really taking time for myself. So I only have one day, which is today, that I'm gonna be alone. And then I think Rose is gonna be with me until the 4th. And I'm actually supposed to leave, I think, on the 4th. But I think what I'm gonna do is stay maybe two or three extra days just so I can have some more time with myself. I actually really love just having that time to be alone, to regroup, to really sit with my thoughts, think about what I wanna do and accomplish and achieve for the new year and not really have to worry about anyone else during that time. So I love my girls, don't get it twisted. When they get here, we gonna turn up. But I always like love my me time. I take myself to dinner alone. Well, I used to when it wasn't a pandemic. I would take myself to dinner. I would go to the movies by myself. Like 
a girl loves her alone time, okay? So I'm gonna head up, gonna take you guys with me, gonna put you right in my pocket and get some dinner. And then we are gonna come back here, do a little self-care with some of my CVS products. And then we're probably gonna end this vlog because I feel like it's gonna be super long. And then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day will be a separate vlog, so stay tuned. And this is tonight's fragrance. guys just got back from dinner at sugar which is on the rooftop of miami east hotel oh dinner was delicious i had some sparkling rose which was whole body and delicious and then i had some kind of like spicy chicken but there was no wings in it it was really good and then I had the crunchy salmon roll. Ugh, delicious. I wanted to stay and like eat more and drink more, but it was so windy. Like the wind tonight is just crazy. Like I can't even go on the balcony. I'm on the 31st floor, by the way, one of the highest floors. I can't even go out there. It's so windy. I feel like I'm gonna blow off the balcony. So after dinner, I decided to walk to the liquor store which is literally right across the street <laughs> there was like a line outside because there was so many people like you know everyone's preparing for new year's today is actually december 30th so tomorrow is the 31st and everyone's stocking up on everything so i'll show you guys what i bought you all know i'm huge fans of chandon so I got the Chandon Rosé. The brand actually sent me a bottle of their Rosé and a bottle of their Brut a few months ago, like during the summer when they did a collaboration with an ice cream maker. It was so good, by the way. I need to find that ice cream. It was a, a sherbet, actually. It was delicious. So I got this. I got two of these. And then I got one just regular Brut in case, you know, no one's kind of feeling rosé -y. And then I saw like a different one and I got this one. This is the Moet and Chandon Nectar Imperial Rosé Champagne. And it was like in the same spot as the other three. So I was like, you know what? It's probably the same amount. Y'all, I'm pretty sure this is an $80 bottle. <laughs> the rest of them are like 20. This one was 20. All the others are like 20. And then this one was 80 bucks. And I was like, but it was like too late. And I'm like, whatever. So this, <laughs> when we go on the boat on January 1st, this is your girl's bottle. This is only my bottle. Ain't nobody else getting none of this. All $80 it is, I'm gonna drink it. Okay, you heard it here first, kids. I don't have a fridge, crap. I definitely thought I had a fridge. So I'm just gonna sit this over here, over by the coffee maker. I'll just keep it in the plastic bag. So when we go on the boat on the first, that's how we're spending our first day of the year on a on a yacht. We'll have something to drink, y'all. So now I'm gonna get myself ready for my self-care evening. And then we'll we will end this evening's vlog. We will end this vlog. It's already gonna be super long. So I'm gonna get into my nightdress gonna wash this makeup off i'm gonna put on a mask 
do my skincare routine and just chill and look at this amazing view. Alright guys, I cleanse my face with a little Elemis cleanser, which is my favorite one. Use some of that Chanel micellar water to double cleanse and got my face nice and ready for this mask. This is the Paparazzi Deep Cleansing Bubble Sheet Mask with Watermelon Fruit Extract. Just getting ready for all of the New Year's festivities with this also i did a whole little impromptu dance party it was wonderful and i put on this skims set one of my favorite ones this color always sells out super quick but i will link it down below if it's available anywhere and i'm wearing the size medium in the skim set all right guys i believe that is it for this first Miami vlog. I know I look crazy guys. Like I literally look like Michael Myers. It's crazy. Thank you so much for joining me for this first day of my trip, my solo day. Well, it wasn't so solo because you guys were with me. I will check in with you guys in the next vlog. The next vlog will be New Year's Eve in Miami, hopefully so. Stay tuned, we're gonna have an amazing time. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video. I have linked everything shown, everything worn, every place stayed, every place I ate, all the goodies down below in the description box and you can check it out. All right guys, see you in the next one. Bye.